CBB's Bedtime Story. Now, how should I start the spell? I, I mean, letter. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. Oh, hello. My name's Sharon. I'm writing a spell. No, uh, that's not right. I'm writing a letter. And I'm not sure how to start it. Do you think you can help me? There is one other person who could help, but sometimes things don't go quite right when she's around. But I do know a story about her. Why don't I tell it? The story is by Nick Ward and is called The Naughtiest Ever Fairy. High on a green hill in a little yellow house lived the naughtiest ever fairy. After a busy morning thinking up tricks and mixing spells, the naughtiest ever fairy liked to have a nap. Across the valley, in a big blue castle, lived the very noisy giant. He spent the morning hard at work with his very noisy chores, but when his chores were done, the very noisy giant loved to dance. Every afternoon, just as the naughtiest ever fairy climbed into bed and closed her eyes, the very noisy giant would put on his favourite noisy music, then he would skip and spin in his giant boots. Crash! Bang! Clump! It was getting harder and harder for the naughtiest ever fairy to get any sleep at all. Rattle! Clatter! Crash! The naughty fairy woke with a jump. She had had enough. She couldn't get her beauty sleep and it was starting to show. As you can imagine, the naughty fairy was getting very grumpy. If the giant wasn't so big, she thought, he wouldn't make so much noise. And that gave the fairy a naughty idea. Soon, it would be the giant's birthday. So the fairy sat down to make a special card and inside, she wrote a very naughty spell. In fact, the spell was so naughty that I can't tell you what it said until the magic has worn off. Hee! <laughs> that should do the trick, smiled the naughty fairy, and she popped it in the post box. On his birthday, the noisy giant danced down the stairs. Just then, a card popped through the letterbox. Yippee! he cried. Giants don't get many birthday cards, you see. Who's it from? Oh no, said the giant. I forgot. I can't read. So the noisy giant went to find someone very clever who could read. Oh, can you read my card? He asked the big bad wolf. Of course, growled the wolf importantly as he grabbed the card from the giant's hand. I'm a very good reader. What does it say? asked the giant. Hold on, I've got to read it myself first, growled the big bad wolf. And suddenly, kazam! The big bad wolf changed into a timid little bah! lamb. How embarrassing, shivered the gentle little lamb. I'm supposed to be fierce and ferocious. And then he ran away to hide. The noisy giant still didn't know what his card said, so he went to see the bold and roaring lion, who was king of the jungle. Can you read my card? asked the very noisy giant. Rawr! Of course, roared the lion imperiously. I'm a very good reader. He opened the card and started to read. Kazam! The lion changed into a little scaredy cat. How humiliating, he meowed, running off to hide. I'm supposed to be king of the jungle, meow. But still, the noisy giant didn't know what his card said. So he went to see the last of the fiery dragons. Can you read my card? asked the giant. Of course, said the dragon grandly. I'm a very good reader. But as soon as he started to read the message, kazam! The fiery dragon changed into an insignificant little worm. Oh, this is insufferable, squirmed the worm, crawling into his tiny hole. I'm supposed to be a 
fiery dragon. The poor giant still didn't know what his card said, so he went to see the naughtiest ever fairy. Giant, she gasped, very surprised to see him so big and noisy. <gasps> didn't you get your card? Yes, said the giant, but I can't read it. Can you help? <laughs> no chance, said the fairy. I'm not falling for that old trick. Find someone else to read it for you. Now, what does the card say? Whoever reads this birthday card, if you're big or fierce or scary, will turn into something very small. Love from the naughty fairy. Kazam! <laughs> oh, you didn't, did you? <laughs> Just look at what that fairy has done. She's made me really small. I need to try out some of my spells and get myself back to normal. And while I do, it's time for you to go to bed. I'll see you soon for another story. Night, night. Now, what was the magic word? <gasps> Kazam!